Welcome to our class tutorial on percents, decimals, and fractions, and how the heck you convert between one and another. Now, we have covered this material a few times this year, but this is just a review to make sure that everybody's on track before we start in on our units on business planning and income taxes. So I want you to take a look at this tutorial, and then I want you to try the activities on the worksheet that's been provided. So what we're going to cover in this specific tutorial is how to convert a fraction into a decimal, a decimal into a percent, a percent back into a decimal, and a percent back into a fraction. So we're going to go forwards and backwards through the process from fraction, decimal, percent, percent, decimal, fraction. So first off, just a quick review, what is a fraction? A fraction is a proportional relation between an object part and an object whole. So say for example our whole object was an apple and we cut our apple into four pieces, right? Each of those four pieces would be an object part. The object whole would be the apple cut into four. And it's written in the form of A over B. Now in this instance, like I said, with our apple B, how many the object whole has been cut into four parts. And say I gave you three of those parts we would have, you would have three-fourths of an apple or three-quarters of an apple. Now the other thing you want to remember is that line, three over four, is the same thing as divide. So three over four is the same thing as three divided by four. Okay, so again, parts of a fraction. The bottom number is how many parts the whole has been cut into. So say for example this time we were talking about a pizza. Now please forgive me, it's kind of hard to draw with a mouse as I'm sure you all know. So my pizza gets cut into eight parts. So my bottom number is eight because it's been cut into eight parts. Now say for example you're kind of hungry and you're a little bit greedy, there's a bunch of you having pizza, but you decide you're going to have three of these pieces. So I'm just going to shade in three of those pieces. So the top is how many of these parts of the holes you have had. So you have had three out of eight of the pieces of pizza. So that's fairly straightforward. Bottom number, how many pieces it's been cut into. Top number is how many pieces you have. So now, if I'm converting from a fraction to a decimal, it's easy. Because like I said, that line that was mentioned before, right, is the same as divide. So use your calculator and you divide the top number by the bottom number. So in our previous example you had three out of eight slices of the pizza which would be the same as three divided by eight. So if I go three divided by eight on my calculator well, I don't have my calculator open so just bear with me here a moment. I need to open up a calculator. Oops. Yes, so here's my calculator. Drag it where you can see it. 3 divided by 8 equals 0 0.375. Okay. So again that would be 0 0.375. Okay, so again what we did was we wrote it out. This line is the same as divide and that gives us our decimal. So a fraction and a decimal can mean the same thing. So in this instance if I have 1 over 2 and you put that through your calculator, 1 divided by 2, you're going to get 0 0.5. It means the same thing. If you have 2 over 10, put that through the calculator, it's going to give you 0 0.2. It means the same thing. If I had 8 over 15, well, I'm not quite sure what that is, so I'm going to go and I'm going to use my calculator. And I'm going to go 8 divided by 15 equals 
0.5333333. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to put 0 0.5 three repeating. Okay, so all of these mean the same thing. So when do I use a decimal? Well decimals are easier to calculate with. If I wanted to find out what 10% a 10% discount was or if I wanted to find out if I got a 10% raise or if I wanted to find out what 50% of my monthly income is we'd use decimals for that. Otherwise the only way to do it would be cross multiplication. And I know none of you particularly enjoy doing that. However, we're going to be doing some more of it. But this is one of the ways that you can avoid doing a lot of cross multiplication. So here's a quick example. If I wanted to find out what 11 sixteenths of 238 is, well, my first step, I'm going to convert my fraction into a decimal. So 11 is the same as 11 divided by 16, which will give me 11 divided by 16 equals 0.6875. So 0 0.6875. And then I'm going to multiply this by my amount. So I'm going to have 238 times 0 0.6875 equals, and again I'm going to go to my calculator, times 238 equals 163.625. So 163.625. Now we're going to cover some more stuff about this later on. This is just a quick example. So again, the steps. We take my fraction. We divide. It produces a decimal. And in this case, we're going to take our number. We're going to multiply it by the decimal. And that's going to give us our final amount. So once we have my decimal, how do I get to a percentage? Well, this one is dead simple. There's a bunch of ways of doing it. Some people do it in their head. Some people do it visually. I'm going to show you one way using your calculator. And it's simple. You multiply by 100. So if my decimal is 0 0.10, I multiply that by 100. And I'm going to get 10%. My decimal is 0 0.05. I multiply that by 100. I'm going to get 5%. My decimal is 0 0.716. I'm going to multiply that by 100. And I am going to get 71.6%. Now, if you guys can do this in your head, great. But always verify it with a calculator. It'll just make your life much easier. So things to remember about decimals and percents. If a decimal is 0, 0.0 blank, right, you're going to have a percentage of less than 10%. So examples say if this number was 0 0.07, right, and I'm going to go 0 0.07 times 100 equals 7%, right, less than 10%. If the decimal is 0, 0.00 something, you're going to have less than 1%. So example here, say I had 0 0.06, 0 0.006 times 100 is equal to 0.6%. All right, this is where some people get occasionally confused because instead of here where they have 0 0.07, they end up somehow with 70% or 0.7%. Again, easiest if you just use your calculator.